Hello and welcome to Virtual Crafts. In the last video we saw how we can install WooCommerce and how we can go through its setup with it. If you have not seen that video you will find the link in description. So in this video we will see how we can add a simple product in our store. Now in the last video I mentioned that the products are of many types. We have simple products, we have variable products, we have virtual products and then we have products that are associated with the memberships. So I will have separate videos on creation of all of these types of products. But in this video specifically we will see how we can add a simple product. So let's get started. I will go to my dashboard. Ok when you install your WooCommerce plugin you will see these 4 tabs in your admin dashboard. These are related to WooCommerce. Currently we have to add the product so we will hover over this tab product. Here we have all the products that our store has. We can add new, we can create categories, tags and attributes. So let me go to all products first. And I already have all these products created. So for this tutorial I will add a new product. But for that I will have to create a new category first. Now creating a new category is not necessary but it is recommended that whenever you add new products you should be adding them to individual categories as a store may have many categories as I mentioned in the last video while going through the setup with it. But if your store is a micro niche store that it sells product of only one niche then you really don't have to go through uh, creating the categories. You can simply go to add new products and then add it. So let me quickly add a new category. Let me name it tutorial products. So currently I have two categories on my website groceries and juice. And this category is the default category created by WordPress. Uncategorized and any product we add to our store if we do not add it to any category it will by default go to this uncategorized category. You can choose a parent category from here. Any of these I will keep it to none. You can add a description to your category. Now as these products are for the sake of tutorial so you can name it something like that. Now you have to add the description only if you have uh, hundreds of categories and you want to remember which category is for which purpose. I will click this button add new category. And you will see that we have our new category in the table. Now I will go to add new product. And this is where we add our product. Okay, this is where we add the name of our product. Let's say my store sells the products related to technology, maybe laptops and phones. So let's go to Amazon and see any product. Okay, let's say I am selling this laptop on my store. I'll copy the title from here and I'll paste it here. And this will now be the title of my product. I'll scroll down and this is where you'll add the description of your product. I'll go to Amazon again. I'll click it and let's copy the description. Okay, this is the description for this item. I'll copy it and I'll paste it here. Let me go and copy some dummy text from Lorem Ipsum. I'll come back here and paste it. You can add pretty much anything here. You can style your text by these formatting options. Scroll down. And this is where you add the details of your product. Here we'll choose the type of the product. Now this video is for simple product. In our upcoming videos we'll see how we can create a grouped product, external or affiliate product and variable product. Now the simple product can be of two types, virtual and downloadable. Now what a virtual product is that virtual products are not shipped. Now as I am setting a store for selling electronic gadgets like laptops, computer and mobile phones my products are not virtual because they are shipped to the buyer's address. So the virtual products are not shipped to the buyer rather the buyer can download it or can use the service online. I will create another video on that. In this video let's see how we can add simple products that are shipped to the buyer's location. This is where you will add the regular price of the products. Let's say the laptop I am selling is worth $950 and if you want this product to be on sale you can add a new sale price here. Let's say my sale price is $850. I'll write it here. Okay, in this general tab you can select the price. Go to inventory. This is where you write the SKU number. SKU is a store keeping attribute, store keeping unit. You can give a unique identifier to each of your product that is in your store for identification purposes. You can either write something here or keep it empty, but I recommend you write something here. So let's add the title of our product here. 
and now this product will be uniquely identified in our stock okay if you want to manage the stock you'll check this checkbox and by checking this you'll be able to specify a stock quantity that how many products do you have in stock so if you do not select it all you have to do is select if the product is in stock and when the product runs out of stock you'll have to come back to the store and change this status or you will change the status to on back order now back order is when the stock is empty and you are going in the negative number so you can check this box manage stock and then you can specify the products that you have in your store let's say i have 50 laptops of the same kind in my store i'll specify it here i can specify if i allow the back orders now in back orders as i already mentioned the stock can go below zero so i'll keep it to do not allow and when the stock is low your users or buyers will see a warning that the stock of this product is now low you can select that low stock threshold here let's say i want to show the warning when my products are five or less than five you can check this box if you want to allow only one of this item bought in a single order the user will not be able to select multiple units of the same product in a single order now this is a shipping tab i'll create a complete video now you can do shipping of the products we will have another video now we can create upsells and cross sells for the products come to attribute and this is where you'll choose the attribute of the product click add I'll go to the Amazon again and you'll see that the brand is Acer the computer memory size is 8 gigabytes the screen size is 14 inches we can add these attributes here so let me add screen size which is 14 inches I'll save this attribute and you'll see that we have a screen size attribute here let me add another one which will be memory and it will be 8 GB I'll save it and you can add as many attributes as you want go to advanced you can add a purchase note here this note will be sent to the customer after making the purchase you can uncheck this box if you don't want to enable reviews on this product okay this is card flows you'll not see this tab I can see this because I have card flows plugin installed on my website and you can use some additional premium and free add-ons extensions you can install them but that is not really necessary so that is all about the settings of the products scroll down and this is where you can add the short description of the product I'll go back to Amazon and let's say I copy these details and I add them here now we will have a specification table in our product description when we see the product okay now let's come to the right sidebar publish this product by clicking this publish button and now our product is live it is now shown on the product pages this is where you choose the category as I already mentioned that when you don't select any category it by default lies in the uncategorized category I'll select it to tutorials product the category I just created especially for this tutorial you can add a new category from here as well I scroll down I can add product tags these are SEO settings so let me add a tag Acer Swift 3 when I click add I have a tag you can add as many tags as you want now these are for the SEO so you need to be careful with these now these are the theme settings you'll have these settings according to the theme you're using this is where you'll add the product image and this is where you'll add the product gallery images you can either choose an image from your media library or if you don't have it here you'll click upload files and then select the files from your computer let's say about this image from my product image I'll click set product image and this image will be set as my product image now I'll click add product gallery images I'll upload the files I'll click add to gallery and you'll see that we have added our gallery okay that's all about how we can create a product I'll update it and let's preview it I'll click this button preview changes okay this is the product image we added this is the product gallery you can slide these images by clicking at them 
you'll see that we have home and this is the category we created tutorial product and then we have the product name this is the product name we added this is the regular price of the product and this is the sale price of the product this is the short description table that I added for specifications you can have text here as well you'll see the stock we set which says currently 50 are in stock this is the SKU I set which is Acer Swift 3 the category and the tags of the product this is the description we set of the product and in the additional information tab we will have the attributes of the product and currently there are zero reviews on the product and now you'll see we have one review on the product the admin which is me the date the star rating and the text I added in review so that is pretty much all how we can add a simple product you can always alter these details according to you it is highly customizable so that's all about how we can create a simple product in WooCommerce in some upcoming videos we'll see how we can add all types of products in WooCommerce if you have any question you can ping me up in the comment section if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon next to it to receive the notifications of every new video uploaded thank you and see you in the next video